Three people are chased through a Belvedere Park off the road and through the grass. The man police say was driving the car now faces charges. Rachel Perry talked with one woman involved. Rachel, she tells you she was terrified. That's right, Mimi and Eric. She tells me she has no idea who he is or why he allegedly followed her, but is thankful for a witness who came to her rescue. I just didn't know how to get him out of that situation, us being on foot and him being in a car. A nice day at Belvedere Park turns into a run for her life, Erelise Zavala tells me. I thought he was going to get to us somehow. I don't know if he wanted to run us over, kidnap us. She says a man in a gold car begins following her, plus her one-year-old son and a friend, in broad daylight, driving across grass and sidewalks, possibly trying to reach them. That's when my friend said, look, he's on the sidewalk, cross the road, and let's just go. Zavala tells me they ran on a bridge where his car couldn't cross. It bought us enough time for my friend to call the cops and for me to decide, you know, which way is the fastest out of here possible, where to hide. But just in time, she says a couple witnessing the event came to the rescue. They actually stayed with us until we called someone to come pick us up. And Zavala says police began following the man's car as he exited the park. The cops turned around and I guess that's when the chase started. A witness of the chase caught the arrest on camera. Now, Belvedere Police Chief Shane Woody confirms the man arrested is the same man who followed Zavala in the park. I was scared. I, I've heard stories about trafficking. I was really concerned about my son. This all happened Friday afternoon. Now Justin Bauman is being held on charges of aggravated battery to a peace officer, driving under the influence, and fleeing or attempting to elude an officer. Zavala says she has never seen Bauman before the incident. Mimi?